Hello and welcome to Canadian Video Gaming. I'm Polite Canadian, and today I have for you Fallen Enchantress. It's a turn-based strategy game, uh, like several others currently out. It's a really, really interesting take because you actually have two new uh, trees or tech trees you can follow: technology or melee or like iron, uh, your typical me uh, medieval times, or you could follow the magical side. So I'm going to do a playthrough of the magical side today. So we're going to go to new game and wait as it does its thing. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. All right. So, do we want to create a character or have an existing one? We're going to go with create a character. We do we want any proficiencies? All right. So this is your attributes, like so proficiencies, professions. It really affects you late game, and even early game. So armor, 25% defense for all units. Beast Lord, take control of enemy beasts. 25% to an army's experience. Prestige. Spells do more, and since we're going to do a spell playthrough, we'll go with Warlock. Yes, because that way it does 50% more damage with spells. And we'll want to go with Fire, so we have an attack right off the bat. Ooh, maybe even Fire Disciple. Nope, because see, we're using points here, so we want to wait for that. Talents. Attunement. More mana is always better. Brilliant. So, Mastery and Experience. Always good as well. And we will want Scholar because research is a really big th part of the uh, magic factions. Do we want a weakness? Hmm. We'll go with Cruel. <laughs> that way we get uh, plus one to attack, but it's also uh, Unrest, which is really easy to deal with. But it gives us more points to work with. We don't care for that. Oh dear. <laughs> ah, here we are. Uh, we'll go up. Maybe one? Or do we want more here? Uh, start with additional Gildar. Hmm. We will go with Wealthy. And we will go with plus one hit point per level and immune to poison. Right. Oh, and we get to choose our faction. Do do do. All right. Now this is a faction I do believe I made. As you can see, I have no armor traits as well as the adepts. So they start with har shard harvesting technology, making them faster into magic, as well as the enchanters, which unlocks special staffs or staves, and then the decaloron or decalon, which unlocks different types of magic you don't already have unlocked. Alright, so yes, we'll go with the Kingdom of Everlast. Let's pick a name. Uh, we'll just make it me. Because why not? Alright, let's give him some robes. Hmm. Always nice. Uh, we don't care for equipment, because that will cost us points. And we'll want to go with... I apologize for beeping. Apparently someone's phone is going off. Ah, here we go. We'll go with this one. Do you want any hats? Uh, no, but we will go with Big Beard. As is typical for wizards, or aged wizards, that is. Oh, no, this one looks better. Uh, nope. Nope. Let's give him the merchant hat. Shall we? And we'll go with that face. Ooh, let's go with these for eyes. Makes them look full of magic. <laughs> or just absolutely ridiculous. Either way, works for me. Uh, hmm. We'll go with... Can you stop looking away so we can actually see your face? Ah, that works. And... There. All right. Next. Next step in the game. Uh, name's Play Canadian. What background would be like? Let's go with this one. Oh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. 
got quite a few optional backgrounds. Ooh, this is a possibility. And... Oh yeah, let's stick with this one. I apologize for the sniffles. I have allergies. <clears throat> so that does affect my capabilities in casting. So we have our Kingdom of Everlast, our King, Polite Canadian, me. Let's start. <laughs> Alright, world size. Let's go... Yeah, we'll go with medium. Balanced, balanced. Moderate, balanced. Uh, we don't care, don't care. Uh, we'll stick with normal, because I'm not a pro player. This is just a playthrough, but we don't want it easy either. And yeah, this works. <sighs> um, we'll go with a slightly better. There we go. Kingdom versus Empire, even. Number of opponents, four. We want Conquest. Sure, why not? Let's go with Conquest. Defeat the opponent. Alright, creating our world. So yeah, I, I uh, saw this game recently. It was uh, really interesting. I've played it through both as tech and magic, and both actually do have distinct uh, play styles. I find the magic uh, style, you have very few units because they're very costly. However, you have very powerful champion spells as well as global spells. There's this one global spell in fire, once you get high enough level, that you, for about... 60 mana you can completely wipe out an entire army a little bit overpowered once you get to the mana generation all right now we get our initial load we get some background story though we don't really care for that someone is hammering incessantly lovely all right let's see what kind of a surrounding we have we have a place that can receive an enchantment which is always good enchantments are really powerful can really help improve your city Ooh, we have even better over here so we're gonna run all the way over here well next turn we will and we will any better land any better land any better land nope end our turn so that we may move here next all right let's move there and settle lovely founding of your kingdom huzzah Lilum has been built Let's see what we want to build. Ooh, plus one essence. Always good. We're going to build that, and done. Now let's see what we got for spells. Alrighty. City enchantments. Plus one mana per essence. Ooh, yes. Please, we will go with this. Extra mana is always really useful for these types of characters and styles of play. Let's check out some forgotten goods. <laughs> and end our turn. Now that we are acquiring knowledge, we can found technologies. Alright, let's go with... Do we want to go with civics first? No, we will go with our magic. And go to... We have shard harvesting. Ah, yes. And this can unlock for us heroes, though we don't want that. We will want to go, yes, with civilization, because that way we can increase our research speed. Excellent. There. Ooh, I got an item. Oh, a summonable. Always handy. Let's check out some more forgotten goods. Yes, thank you. Build. Let's see what else we have for spikes. All units in the city gain plus one fire attack. Ooh, 100 mana. We'll be there next turn. Let's see. Ah, oh, yes. Works just like an outpost. However, you can just cast it instead. So I'm going to cast it right here. This is a really quick way for the magic entities to quickly take over land without too much effort. <laughs> Nearby ore. Uh, iron ore is useful for us, but since we don't have armor, it uh, won't really benefit us too much. Oh! I will use that, thank you. <clears throat> Onwards to more stuff. Always good to try and collect as much as you can right off the bat. And let's end our turn. So that's here. I'm going to set this timer for half an hour. That way we get a good half hour play before we go on and end for this episode. Hmm. Ah, oh, 
We're not going to equip that just yet until I get a good look at it. Let's see what we got. What is this? Oh, plus one initiative. Yes, we will equip this. Excellent. Initiative is always really handy because you get to go more frequently. It's not like other games where you just go first. Initiative can actually result in you getting multiple turns in a row before the enemy. <laughs> Dark turn. And move on. To the next shattered statue. <laughs> Ooh, a crude mace. Uh, I'm not going to use that because I want to be able to use magic, not so much melee. And we'll continue moving on. Alright. And still building our scrying pool. We always could go for this mission right now, but seeing as I only have my one hero, I don't want to go for it just yet. So instead we'll just continue to explore. Oh look, another air shard. So what I will do is try and claim this as fast as possible. This is one of the really useful abilities of the magic uh, group or nations because you're able to expand really 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 quickly and uh, gain resources that normally would take you much longer to acquire. <laughs> and starting with that extra gold pool is really handy. Oh there are enemies in our territory. Uh, we do not want to mess with the troll right yet. We're not that powerful. So we're just gonna back away for now. <laughs> That's one thing you do have to look out for with your uh, rapid expansion with the magic group is that uh, enemies that then spawn in your land or near your land can more readily destroy you or damage you without you being able to uh, respond very easily. Ooh, champion is not adjacent. Elizabeth of the Light. Do we want to gain her as a hero? Yes, I accept for 74 gold. Oh, she's a caster I think as well. That works for me. So we're just going to move her into our group for now and end our turn. <clears throat> See, a really interesting play style to this game. Like, there's other games where you have spells that you can acquire and use, like uh, Might and Magic. You can fight and use spells. In this one, you can fight and use spells, but then you can completely uh, design your empire and civilization around magic or warfare or diplomacy or research. I personally like the magic as you can probably tell as you can expand really really quickly and it just allows you a lot of uh, tactical options. The only thing is you have to be really quick to gain uh, land and resources to get your mana creation up really really high as that's going to be eventually what dictates everything. Always go for potential first because that's just experience which means you level faster. And we'll continue moving on. End our turn. Excellent. Sadly, this is forced, so we're going to move more slowly through it. And now we're working on this life altar. After the life altar, what would we like to build? Zone of control, don't care. Uh, don't care for this quite yet. Hmm. Yes, we will go for the merchant first. Just because it will allow us to gain more gold quickly which then thus allows us to expand faster and then gain more gold and whatnot. Gold is another important resource, of course. The magic faction can plow through resources really, really, really quickly to try and feel their rapid expansion. <laughs> and also, we're going to want to go to train and pioneers after these two buildings, or three buildings rather, because that's going to allow us to then found another city which then provides us with more mana. Excellent, we have our first altar, which should help our mana production. Uh, maybe not. Hmm, we shall see. And continue moving on. Further and further expanding. Let's see. Ooh, inspiration. Ooh, let's do this. Increased research. Always really, really handy to have. That's probably what we got from getting our new ally. So now since we built the essence pool, we now can have three essence in this city, which means we can have three enchantments, which is really going to help uh, boost the capability of our city. And end our turn. Turns go by really, really quickly in the beginning of the game, as you can probably tell, as you're small, don't have a whole lot to do. 
We'll have to be careful because we now have a stalker moving through our land. Early game, they shouldn't bother us too much with the uh, monsters. That's another thing. The monsters in this game, as compared to uh, other turn-based games or other strategy games, the AI neutral party monsters actually will seek out and destroy your towns and uh, structures, which is actually really, really interesting. Uh, like, style of play. Alright, I found another shard, so let's build a monolith. We'll put it up on this hill. Why not? Oh, look, loot. We'll go there next. Eventually, you can build roads between your settlements. And then if you continue your research, you can then build it between your outposts, which is always really handy to just drop outposts all over the place, as then you can quickly move between things. Hmm. Where do we get our roads, though? I'm pretty sure it's along the, this tech tree. So we're going to go for... Civics? Uh, no. Garden and workshops. A restoration. That'll help our cities increase production. And we will want to build our air shard. Now that we have two, we can most likely take on this single stalker. Especially if I have uh, some potent spells to hit it with, which I should have. At least a, a basic fire spell to damage it with. Yeah, I'm going to take him out before he has a chance to threaten our uh, outpost here. Alright, let's go to battle. I'm going to have a sip of my tea here. Oh my, <laughs> does not like that girl. We're going to move here and cast this. Get some damage going. Uh, we are going to run away and cast this on the Stalker. So now we get more turns ahead of the Stalker. Oh, yes. Let's run. Let's run further away. My guy's probably going to die. Hmm. Unless we can trick him to f attack her. <laughs> All right, that works. It's a cowardly thing to do, but hey. Oh, I think we're just going to make it. There we go. So she's going to take a wound, which will decrease her capability. Yeah, gangrenous hands, which means negative one to attack, but we'll just intend for her to cast spells anyway, so that's not too bad. I didn't want to have to engage him. However, I didn't want him to take out my outpost either, as that's then 50 mana down the drain. All right, let's end our turn. Alright, working on our merchant now in town. Good, 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 good. Let's get some loot. Oh, that's handy. Increases our hit points. Uh, we're not doing that. That says deadly. If we got that badly beaten in weak, we do not want to fight a deadly. Excellent. So 50 research. Control. So this is growth oriented. This is research oriented. This is war oriented. We're going to go with research because that will facilitate faster research as well as technology and magic. Yeah, see, just by doing that, I can now build Herbalist, which increases our mana production. And we actually can improve our shrines. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go with Herbalist after this. So, as you can see, it kind of starts to stack and build up. Alright, good. We're still researching restoration, which is absolutely fine. Keep exploring, keep looking for new things. Ooh. Ancient temple ruins. Help increase our research later. And it's good to keep looking for these spots here because these are future expansions, though we just saw some disappear here, so most likely there's uh, an AI expanded nearby, which is very interesting. Ooh, more loot. Always look for the loot. Excellent. There's our research. Uh, what do we want next? What would we like next? Rush production. Let's go with that. And that will be done in three turns. Good. <laughs> what did we get? Oh, more summonables. Excellent. 
Yes, we have just found the Iron Blood Empire, which is, yes, they are a, uh, yeah, they're melee oriented. They're very uh, hardy technology, iron, steel, armor, and weapons, whereas uh, we're going to be focusing on magic. They can be a problem later on. However, I find with the just some of the later tier spells, you can just absolutely wipe them out before they get to you. Though we do need to be expanding soon. That is what's really lowering our power. Because see, they probably that is their second city. So I don't want to take that on just yet. We will, again, run away. And continue to explore. End our turn. Slowly gaining our mana as we go. And see now as a conclave, we're producing more mana. Which is always good for us. Always good, always good. And continue our march north. Oh, north east, really. <sighs> nice, really relaxing game, I find. Not too fast-paced. Once things get uh, sped up or later on with lots of lots and lots going on it can begin to get a little hectic however I still find it's a very nice slow paced game which really allows you to fully enjoy everything and it's in its entirety keep moving this way future expansion sites as a magic nation we always want to look for the locations that have essence as that's where again we're gonna get more mana and we can then use more things to empower our cities all right, good. End our turn. Wait for the air to finish and continue making our very slow progress through the city. Oh, I did not even notice this fire shard here. So we're just going to make sure we get that right now with our arcane model. And then build. So we will have four shards right off the top which is really 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 good to have most other nations won't care unless they're magic oriented so yeah we want as many as we can because they do different things for our empire yes thank you I know I have ore nearby I don't care for ore ah yes we're finally building our pioneer so we'll be able to expand where are we going to probably expand Ah, right here. No, oh, no, oh, here, because we get more growth, but we also get our essence and our production. It's going to take our pioneer forever to get there once she's built, but uh, it's worth it. It's worth it late game, because you get so few city uh, locations. But another cool thing that the uh, magic factions can do is once you get some higher tier uh, magic rolling, you can actually imbue areas with growth so that you can then expand to new previously unthought of uh, locations. Keep moving along and grab this loot. Excellent. We finished our first magic research. We will want this because it increases shrines, which is a higher tier uh, for our shards. It also gives us the abbey, which helps increase production of mana. But so does the alchemist. Let's see. Oh, it also increases spells. But this also gives us spells. This gives us enchants. We're going to go with rituals. It fits. We'll want that. We eventually want all the magic research, but for now, we got to pick and choose. There we go. We'll just keep moving along. Some more expansion, but unfortunately no essence here. That is quite alright, though. We will make do. Our pioneer should be done next turn, so we'll be able to start making our way down to expand our city, while our king and his friend continue to explore, and the city continue to build us more altars and shrines. I'm a little bit worried about the stalker being right here, so we're going to have to take a very long uh, circular route, which is unfortunate. It's going to increase the amount of time it takes us to get there. However, it will keep our pioneer safe. We don't want our, to lose this pioneer that we just spent forever building. We always could go north and take one of those city spots. However, they're not really, really useful, so we don't want to waste right now. We gotta be really picky. That won't attack us because she's a hero you can hire 
by the Empire. So she'll just wait there until an Empire person deals with her, or hires her, or I kill her. <laughs> Which I really don't want to do at this stage in the game. Because as you can see, even though it says weak, that doesn't really compare it to your actual strength. It's just what the game considers to be weak. Hopefully I didn't move too close now to the stalker. I wanted to go here, but unfortunately AI thought I wanted to root through there. Oh, we found an item. Oh, excellent. We found potions. More movement. And nope, they did, it did not go after our pioneers. Good. Oh, <laughs> the very long journey now. Slowly being made. <laughs> Trekking through the endless tracks of forest, apparently. Yeah, for a world that's in ruin, there's a heck of a lot of forest around me. But you can sort of see some of the wasteland here. Ooh, I saw that. A life shard. Excellent. We will drop a arcane monolith. Right here. Claim that for us. More stuff all the time. Really handy. And we can see the Iron Blood Empire. Even though we haven't interacted with them, we can see their power. We're just that awesome, I guess. But uh, we really do need to get another city, and quickly, because their power is starting to grow a lot faster than ours. They've gone from the 16 to 17. We've gone from 8 to 9. So increased by one point, but they're already double us because of their extra city. Our power will increase once we get our extra city, but we really need to get it soon. They'll just even help us research, increase our mana production, make us grow even faster. <laughs> Prestigious location. Absolutely useless for us right yet now. Oh, actually two. We'll drop it right in between them. Because that will be useful for later on. Excellent. End turn. <laughs> and our settlers get closer and closer. Oh, there's loot here, apparently. We will have to get this person over there. <laughs> very, very long ways away. Ah, oh, now we're going to get our herbalist, which will help increase our production of mana. <laughs> hmm. I really hope that doesn't mean they just wiped out our who are uh, pioneers. That'd be really horrible. Really, 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 really horrible. Alright, let's go look at civilization again. Uh, do we want trade? Yes, roads between cities. Go with trading. Good. Nope, did not wipe out our pioneers. Good. I did not want to have to recast that. And our king is over here. Ah! Oh, that's why there's a darkling here. We'll kill it. Yeah, only 10 HP. <laughs> you are going to pass your turn right there. Hmm, we're less effective with spells. I mean, with attacking. Good thing we don't attack. Pass. Pass. Oh, so it's a mage. Alright, we'll cast slow. And now our guy will charge. We do not want him casting another Shadow Bolt. That's okay. That should not affect our spell. It might. It might affect us for being able to hit, but that's not too bad. And pass. I guess he unshrunk our mage. Handy. And we'll move up and hit him with Burning Hands. And he's dead. Good. Get some experience, get some money. Oh, level up. Potential too. Excellent. Always want that. And let's get some loot. Nope, nope. Yes, that one. We'll get it next turn. Let's see what we got. Shield. Don't care for it. Thank you, game, for giving me useless melee junk. I could really use that right now. Yep. Ah, and now our pioneers will be able to move into position and settle. Right off the bat, we will build a scrying pool. 
And then after the scrying pool, what would we like? Uh, let's go with workshop. And that's it for now. And we're still building herbalist. Good. And uh, nothing new. Yeah, there. That's turn. Lots of fun this game. Nice slow pace in the beginning, but not to worry. It will pick up and I'll have lots more to talk about once we get into the later stages of the game. Right now it's just early setup, getting our first city set up, then our early colony. Slowly expanding and growing. But already you can see some of the benefits of the magical group as they're able to expand very quickly. Thank you for letting me know all these wondrous things. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you. And end turn. Lots of ending of turns and construction in the beginning. Although now we should have, yes, rush. Since we researched it, we can quickly rush our production. Which is really good in the beginning too, because it speeds up absolutely everything. Choose for your gold, but that's why we started with the extra gold initially anyways. Was just so that we can rush production and get our cities growing faster and faster. Life Shrine, let's rush it. Workshop, let's rush it. And then we'll go with the Merchant. And then we'll go with a Garden, because that helps us grow. And then a Study, because that's Research. Air Shrine and Cleric. And what will our other CD do? Let's see, Apothecary, yes, more mana. Sage. Ooh, more research. Oh, let's get the study first. There. And that's turn. Slowly making our way back with the king. We always could attack here. 12 HP? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get a little bit more experience for our king and queen and end this recording with a fight. Always nice. Let's move up and pass and now we're gonna move up and cast slow and we'll pass ah, I thought as much oh well with her we're just gonna move away because we just have our guy next anyways and that's burning hands He's going to attack us, and we're going to hit him back. Oh, he dodged. And I dodged. Wicked. Hit him again. There we go. Another glorious fight won by our empire. Oh, she levels up. Let's give her potential. And we get the loot. A flute. So the enemies lose a turn for one time. Excellent. Thank you very much for joining me. This has been part one of the playthrough of Fall Enchantress, the Magical Nation. Well, the playthrough of a Magical Nation. Thank you very much for joining me and have a great day.